Hello everybody and welcome to Elite Force, also known as Star Trek Elite Force. Anyway, I'm just going to do a normal game, on because I, I've done it on Difficult before, the US let me tell you, it's not um, very years easy, the I'll tell you, I'll Delta give it that, it ain't. There, without aid from anyway, Starfleet, I'll get what we began the our 70 year journey home. In our numerous encounters, we came into contact with many dangerous Honestly, and violent species. Honestly, I've never species. really seen too much of the, uh... With no chance of reinforcements. Wait, which we one is that this? The Voyager Star... Dangerous ...or ship? Tuva, Any Voyager's chief of security... Right, that many episodes of that. ...assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. So I really don't know how much of this is uh, what you weapon, call cannon or not. Modular. Either way, the Hazard team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed, and the I Mod is now in the hands of the Borg. Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team. Okay, so pretty much you're playing as Monroe, and. Uh, because, you know, uh, being one of the captured ones would pretty much limit the game, but, uh, anyway. I'll try not to skip over anything. Tuvok. I've been cut off from the rest of the hazard team. I don't know where they are. Mr. Monroe, we have isolated your team members' life signs. They appear to be trapped in the tertiary power modulation chamber. Rescue them at any cost. Acknowledged. And what is that? What? That, that? That's a good question. Anyway, uh, the Borg are uh, pretty unique compared to yes, most of the... I've uploaded your mission objectives and tactical information. Review it now before proceeding. Other enemies, because they can actually adapt to... Uh, they can actually adapt to uh, defend against certain things, such as if you use the phaser too much on them, they'll actually create a shield to uh, defend against them. One thing I should mention about the Borg is the simple fact they cannot bend. This being said, if you can lure them into a uh, crawl space like this, uh, they won't be able to get you so long as you aren't uh, too much on the outside. Anyway, I would highly suggest you sticking with the uh, secondary attack of the of the uh, compression rifle to destroy those distribution nodes. That, that way you uh, can destroy it in one hit and well granted it takes 40 blue ammunition shots to actually use this special, but uh, it destroys them in one head and the Borg won't be able to uh, surround you. Monroe, I did put this on normal, didn't I? On anyway, grab a... Uh, Grab the eye mod, which thankfully this is uh, the only Thanks weapon in the game they Let's don't go. adapt to. I, I always thought you had 200 health on normal. I, I guess that was just uneasy. Oh well. Anyway, there's a health uh, a health terminal up there if you need it. Very much a doubt you will need it though. Blue force field? I don't see a dis note here. Hmm, must have a sp uh, I'd come with you if I had an eye mod, but uh what say I stay here and hold down Now then if you are trying to do this on difficult mode, uh, let me be the first to warn you to always watch your back because they have a horrible horrible tendency of teleporting in behind you. Anyway, I don't know if it's possible to actually save this guy or not, but uh, 
Oh, I think it's scripted. Yeah, I, I know I've gotten into where I actually see him get taken, but I've never been able to save him. Either way, just uh, get to the next area. Remember to refill on uh, this ammunition, and I would highly suggest upsetting them so they all come out in front of you. Alternatively, there is a distribution node in that direction. I'm just avoiding that because I don't uh, really see any point in doing that. Anyway, if you are almost out of ammo, just use these uh, plasma felders to destroy them. Um, Again, if you're on a more difficult mode, uh, get used to turning them around because seriously, they got a horrible tendency of uh, being beaming in right behind you. It is possible to outrun this uh, area, but I really wouldn't advise it. Sarah's hit. The board took the team through there. You mm -hmm. out, Chang. You've done all you can here. Aye, sir. You know, I just sort of fall down from here, grab all the ammo you need, watch for you at the board. Yeah, I, I've been using the uh, alternate attack for the most part of this uh, playthrough so far, haven't I? Hmm. Okay, let's try uh, this one. Yeah, you will take fall damage, which is very unfortunate seeing as uh, there, there's uh, quite a few places where you can fall from, especially in the later level. Thankfully, the Borg do not have a ranged attack on this, uh, in this area. That being said, they shouldn't be too much of a problem. Anyway, just wait for this thing to go down. And make sure you don't get under it because yes, that things can crush you in this game. Okay, go down and uh, if you missed anyone, I'm pretty sure you can aim for them back here. There we go, got it. Yep, pretty sure I done that. Oh well. Under this area and... Destroy this node. And you can just go directly to shooting it, but I'll just let that boy out. Well, that didn't work as well as Not it cool. should have. Well, what was I supposed to do? Good question. Mr. Monroe, your tactical approach was, shall we say, tactless. All right, hazard team, report to debriefing. Nice going, Monroe. Well, they were a bit quicker and didn't get caught, they wouldn't have had the problem in the first place. Sir, if I may, how was I supposed to know the panel would explode? That point is not relevant, Mr. Monroe. A given situation is not as predictable as you might desire. 
Your reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. You have failed. Had you followed standard hazard team procedures, you may have survived the simulation and achieved your mission objectives. Yes, sir. Procedure. Speak freely, Ensign. Deck 4. With all due respect, sir, I don't think procedure would have mattered. There wasn't any way I could have possibly rescued them. Well, you guys, you have to destroy it all on the board, but, well, impossible. that's one way. Consider this to be your personal Kobayashi Maru. If anyone gets that to reference to that, I, I have no idea what it is. We, uh, Voyager. I keep wanting to say Enterprise. I'm pretty sure this is Voyager, though. Status. Because I know there's at least three of them defiant the Voyager and Enterprise. I'm pretty sure this is the Voyager. I'm just going to call it the Voyager. What happened? We responded to a distress signal from a derelict vessel and it opened fire. Tuvok, they don't respond to hails. Maybe we need to send a clearer message. Target their weapon systems and disable them. Firing phasers. Direct hit. Phasers had no discernible effect. Wow, well, that's a problem. Rerouting auxiliary power to the shields. Captain, I'm getting reports of extensive damage on decks 9 and 10. We're not going to survive another hit. Photon torpedoes, full spray. Uh, apparently, full spread means two of them. Uh, I would have thought that it would have been more than two, but whatever. Okay, and. I believe it's time to roll credits, right? Everyone all right? Oh, no, I guess after this, then. What just happened? Captain, we seem to have been torn from normal space. I think we've been pulled through some sort of isodimensional rift. Where are we? Apparently, here, Captain. Sensors and most of Voyager's primary systems are offline. Until repairs are made... That's what's canon or not. Captain's log, stardate 53854.7. Voyager was attacked by an unknown force and transported to some kind of starship graveyard. Whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. Get damage control online. Harry, find out what you can about those other ships, and exactly where we are. Hi, Captain. There's a containment leak in engineering. If we can't get it Turbo sealed, we're going to have a control is malfunctioning. Bridge. Initiate it's local command using manual interface. Get down to Deck engineering 11. and help them seal that leak. Engineer. Uh, and are the elevators going to be working? Apparently not. Anyway, just run through here real quick. Garrett, can you give me a hand? And, uh... Yeah, you can choose when you activate this, but personally, I try waiting for the guy. I'll, I'll try not getting anyone killed, but that, that might be pretty difficult. You need to take a turbo lift to engineering. Well, the aft turbo lifts were the only ones working on this deck, but they're behind the containment field. Anyway, just, uh, just sort of crawl into that area until all of that falls down so you can get into the upper area. It won't actually let you go into the upper area until the wall are once blocked. Activate this. And then go out this way. Sir, 
Sorry, Monroe. The data shunt's been severed here. Everything down this way is shut off. Hey, we're getting a power surge here. Monroe, quick! Hit that panel and shut off this relay! Again, I'm gonna try not getting anyone killed, but no guarantees, especially, uh, I think it was Mitch on, uh, on one of the later levels. Because he likes running out in front of you, and it's really easy to, to get him killed. Anyway, I just sort of jump over to this area. And you should be able to run and jump over to this and go up the ladder if you can and turn this off. That door down there won't uh, open until after you drain this. And the sludge will hurt you. Monroe, what took you so long? We've got a warp core breach things. in progress. You need to get in there and shut it down. There are two things you have to do, so listen carefully. First, cut the power relays on the main floor. Then go to the upper level and decouple the dilithium matrix. Wait a minute. You're going to need a helmet to get through that coolant leak. I've got one in my transporter buffer. Hurry up yeah. and find those terminals. Oh, those there things are much convenient. Time we lose containment and have to reject the core. Attention. Warp core breach imminent. Displaying power relay access code. Got it. Access granted. Power relays have been cut. Yeah, it isn't really Attention. that hard. Warp yeah, core I mean, breach in 30 seconds. More, more or less, it's just fought, figuring out where they are. That's that the hard part. Decoupled. But once you get it, Warp great. Core offline. Memorizable. Core breach averted. If that's a word. Good job, Ensign. That was touch and go there for a little while. No problem, Lieutenant. Okay, let's get a cleanup crew in here. Yeah, jump over the rails, fall down, and... Bora, give me a Intruder hand alert. Resonance Cascade All weapon. security and hazard team personnel to the loading dock. Decade On to the next dock. area. I should also mention that you don't actually have a weapon until uh, this guy gives you Here's one. Take this. Come on. If you need medical attention, just come back here. One wrong. Uh, here. About the doctor, he only heals your health. He does not heal your shield. That being said, uh, you better be more careful. See if you can eliminate it. Ready? Now then, whatever you do, do not accidentally hit any enemies. Oh, what am I saying? Any of your allies. Because seriously, everyone just doesn't like it when you do that, and uh, you're quite literally going to have everything on you. Not to mention you're going to be... Uh, Put in the brig and and we are going to get game over screen if that happens anyway. Yeah, I'm not really being too careful about this. I would I always suggest just uh, keeping with the scavenger rifle once you get it. Since it's one of your only machine guns right up to this point. Alright, heal if you need to. To talk to Foster. We're pinned down in Cargo Bay 1. We require Just your immediate assistance. Monroe, Tuvok needs help. Come with me. Again, uh, he only heals health, not shield. Anyway, uh, just to warn you, Foster can get stuck on the railings, which pretty much means you gotta reset the entire uh, part to do 
That's about that. Anyway, just wait until he... Hopefully there you go. Goes to the control panel and locks it and then you can get into what uh, this fight. Yeah, I'm not being too accurate either, am I? Just keep uh, getting all of them, man. The so, some, sometimes, uh, during the cut scene, uh, there will be a few scavengers going around, yeah. They, they can't actually hurt you, though. Wait, what? Actually, that can to potentially stop Tuvok from walking well, up, which means the, situation is worse than we thought to the game, which the pretty much means no, again that uh, you gotta reset the entire part to deal with it, it which is a slight annoyance, but that's very rare. I am certain that many of you are curious as to our situation. Sounds right. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. It seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy dampening field surrounding the area that is draining Voyager systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped like the other ships and cannot escape. Like the Tarkanus gravity well, 247 ships have been lost there. Or the Bermuda Triangle. You know, back on Earth. Perhaps. Something like that. Our primary weapons and propulsion systems are offline at the moment. The captain's current strategy is to find out as much as we can about our surroundings while we affect repairs. So what's the deal with our unwelcome visitors? We do not have much information about them as of yet, Mr. Beesman. They appear to be scavengers of some sort, comprised of Klingons, humans, and Malons. With only short-range sensors operational, we have been unable to locate their vessel since it departed. However, we have detected a vessel nearby. While sensors indicate no life signs, we have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Ghost ship. That's always a bad sign. <laughs> While your superstitious beliefs are quite illogical, Mr. Chell, caution is recommended. Your team leader, Lieutenant Foster, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? All right. This is an information gathering mission. Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha Squad, my group, will beam into Control Room A. Ensign Monroe and Beta Squad will be transported to Control Room B. Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all costs to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. See the Quartermaster, Oviedo, in the equipment room. Gear up, then report to Transporter Room 1. Dismiss. Yeah, unlikely event. With the Star Trek, you, you really think it's going to be that unlikely. Data gathering. I was hoping for some action our first time out. Be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Anyway, did go around uh, activating conversation? I don't know. I'm surprised they managed to survive this long. I wonder where their ship is. Um, I'm pretty sure there's one in the wrong way. One in this uh, well, mess hall. I gotta head out. Got an away mission to perform. Man, I can't believe I'm getting left behind on our first mission. And an intelligence gathering mission, too. 
Hey, relax, Ken. There'll be plenty of other missions. Uh, yeah, Ken. They're just saving the best for last. <laughs> Was it Mitch or Ken? Uh, I know it was one of the two. They always get in the way. Anyway, no, you do not get a refill on your health and shield. Anyway, yes, uh, easy strategy. Just run, run across both brackets and get what you can, because, well, uh, that's the only way you can get them. And if you leave anything behind, I don't think you can get get them back until after the next time you'll have to go through that area. Go through the arsenal. Energize. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, cut this short as soon as I get on the board of the ship. All set, Alex. Just stand when you're ready, ready and... Transport team two. Don't, don't attack him. I know, I know that you can, but... Uh, well, you could but the, directly before he said energize, but... This is that derelict vessel, and you think it's really going to be that dead. Well... It might be. We'll find out in right. the next episode. Let's see if any of these consoles are working. Look at this. I've never seen such a ship. It's almost like it's alive. Okay. I'm going to call I this think episode... I found the data terminal. Just give me a minute to start the download. I'm going to call this episode done. That being said, I hope everyone's enjoying this series. So, everybody have a good day.